Another thing that you can do with your Fuse character is export it to Mixamo, which is an online web-based animation uh, generator by Adobe. So to do that, I'm just going to go around into file and export this as an OVJ model first. I'm just going to go around into file, export, and then I'm going to export model as OVJ. So over here, I'm not going to change anything out right here. The, the character scale is one that's fine. So I'm just going to press OK and export this out. So I'm going to go to desktop right here. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to save this as a uh, test tutor tube, just like this. And then I'm going to press save. So at the time of this recording, the support for send to Mixamo directly is not there by Adobe. So I'm just using it to export it as OBJ first, and then I'll be importing it into uh, Mixamo right there. So it's exporting the OBJ file, and once it's exported, it'll be on the desktop. So I'm just going to go to my desktop now, and you can see here that there's the uh, new folder which we made and there's the exported character with all of the texture. So to make it easier for uh, upload, I'm just going to select all of the these and then I'm going to send it to a compressed zip folder just like this. So it's easier to upload a zip folder with all of the textures. So now let's head on to our Mixamo website which is this one right here. So you go to Mixamo.com and sign in with your Creative Cloud ID and you'll be uh, able to access this space out. So here you can see that there's a bunch of characters on the left side and here's the character that you can work with. But what you want to do is you want to upload the character that you made in Fuse. So I'm going to click on upload character right here and here it says it supports uh, the, op um, the 3D file F FBX, OBJ and ZIP. So I'm just going to upload the ZIP file with the OBJ in it so that it uploads the textures as well. So I'm just going to select the character file. I'm going to go to the new folder uh, from my desktop and then I'm going to go to Tutor Tube Test and I'm just going to click this and click on Open. So once I, once I upload it, open it, you can see that it starts uploading and depending on your internet speed, it does take some time. So I'm just going to fast forward this part. So now it's completed the uploading and it's processing the character. So it might take some time for that. And now you can see that you have the auto rigger. It's loading our character right here. And once it's loaded, we can see, we can orient it around and see. So we can turn the character around and see how that looks like. We can go around here, rotate around the character, and you can rotate around from that side as well. So this is our character in the auto rigger of Mixamo. So I'm going to click on next right here and it tells us to rig the character. That is place the mark. So there's a guide over here as well. So first it says tin. So I'm just going to go around. And once I drag in, you can see that there's like a zoom in section right here. So I can go around and like point out the tin right here. It does not have to be perfect. So don't worry too much about it. So once I go to wrist, you can see that symmetry is on. You can also turn off symmetry and that only allows you to move once. So I'm just going to go around here and turn on symmetry so that uh, because my character is symmetrical. So there's standard skeleton. There's also like three chain fingers, as you can see right over here. There's like two chain fingers and everything. So there are different uh, skeleton options. I'm just going to stick to standard skeleton for this one. So I'm just going to go around and work around. So this, these are the wrists. So wrists are these parts right here. So I'm just going to keep it right around here. And then I'm going to go to elbows, keep the elbows right here. And then the knees, which is right here. And the groin, which is right over here, just like this. So this is going to be groin right over uh, around here. Okay, so I guess that's it. So once that is done, I'm just going to go around and click next. And it's rigging the character. If there's some error, then it'll, it'll notify it to you. But over here, now it is rigging the character as you can see. So it says it might take about two minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward this section as well. And the processing is almost complete. So let's see how that looks like. And there you go. There's the processed character right here. And let's see if the movement is correct. So you can see that the character is moving quite well right here and it looks natural. So we now we can simply choose on any animation right here and then apply. So I'm just going to click on next and then what happens is that the character is here. 
So now I can rotate around, click and drag it around and the character is rotated. I can zoom around as well by using the scroll mouse button and by clicking and dragging the scroll mouse button to pan around. I can use the left mouse click to rotate around. You can also use these buttons right here, like rotate, click on that, use this to pan, use this to zoom, you use this right over here to go for the default camera and you go for the toggle camera as well to have all those controls at once. So that is how you import out your fuse character in Mixamo. So next we're going to see how we can choose animation and work around with it. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.